Another day, another lawsuit. Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews, everybody. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. So, Alec Baldwin is getting sued again because of his uh, neglect and his killing of cinematographer Helena Hutchins. And the um, act itself has ramifications beyond just the killing of the cinematographer. There are things that other people suffered due to this action. Her, his family, or her family members over in Ukraine are suing for damages. Other people are suing for damages. And this is another damages lawsuit as well. So, let's get into it. This is coming from Variety. So, yes, three Rust crew members sued Alec Baldwin and the film's producers on Monday, alleging they had suffered anxiety and symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder as a result of the shooting death of the film's cinematographer. The three crew members were in the church building at the Bonanza Creek Ranch near Santa Fe, New Mexico, when Baldwin's gun fired, striking cinematographer Helena Hutchins and director Joel Souza. Baldwin has denied pulling the trigger, though prosecutors have charged him with involuntary manslaughter for allegedly firing the weapon while it was pointed at Hutchins. Yeah, um, there's no allegations. He pulled the trigger, folks. An FBI uh, investigation confirmed this. I'll put it up in the card. A link to that video. So... The plaintiffs in the latest suits are Ross Adiego, the dolly operator, Doran Curtin, the set costumer, and Reese Price, the key grip. According to the suit, all three were in close proximity to Baldwin when the gun was fired and suffered blast injuries from the deafening sound of the shot. According to the complaint, Hutchins fell to the ground directly in front of Curtin, and she watched in shock as Hutchins grabbed at her abdomen. The lawsuit states, Plaintiff Curtin pulled her hands on or put her hands on Hutchins' stomach, trying to find the source of Hutchins' pain and figured out what was going on. Or and to figure out what was going on. As the chaos continued, Plaintiff Curtin or Curtin was ushered out of the church once outside. She collapsed from the effects of the blast and the shock of the shooting. The lawsuit also alleges that the producers cut corners to and hired people who had been the subject of previous safety complaints, including David Halls, the first assistant director. The suit also faults the producers for hiring armorer Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, despite her lack of experience because they allegedly wanted a quick and cheap production. Cutting corners. Not to mention her own problem with her first job, which got her yelled at for improperly loading a weapon. The lawsuit faults Baldwin for not paying attention during weapons training, or rather, not even attending weapons training, according to Hannah Gutierrez-Reed. For failing to ensure that the gun was not loaded with a live bullet, and for discharging the round, Baldwin's representatives, or representative declined to comment. Halls has agreed to plead no contest to a misdemeanor count of discharging a dangerous weapon. Gutierrez Reed, like Baldwin, is facing a charge of involuntary manslaughter, which carries a maximum sentence of 18 months in prison. The plaintiffs join several other crew members who have filed suits in New Mexico and California, including the script supervisor, set medic, and gaffer. In one of those suits, Baldwin's lawyers fired a count, filed a counterclaim alleged, or alleging that four other people were at fault in the shooting, but he was not. <laughs> Sorry, bub, but when you put yourself down as executive producer, you put on a lot more responsibility to yourself. Uh, folks, executive producers carry a lot more responsibility than just actors. And yes, when you're handed a gun, it doesn't matter what you're told. 
you check the fucking gun to make sure that the damn thing is not loaded with real frickin' weapon or bullets. Hutchins widower, Matt, <clears throat> or Matthew, the weak husband, I call him, filed the lawsuit a year ago. In October, he agreed to a settlement that will allow the film to be completed and producers expect to resume shooting this spring in Montana, with Baldwin still in the lead role. Hutchins' parents and sister filed suits earlier this month. Last week, Rust Movie producers agreed to pay $100,000 to settle a workplace safety citation from the New Mexico Occupational Health and Safety Bureau. $100,000, huh? So that's what it costs to, uh... That's what it costs to basically say, oh yeah, we fucked up and we accidentally killed a person. Honestly, I think you should tack on a couple more zeros to that. Millions of dollars should be fined in this sort of case. A person lost their life because of the neglectful behaviors of Alec Baldwin and the other producers on the set of Rust. They wanted to cut corners. They wanted it to be quick and dirty. Well, it got quick, or it was done quick, and it got dirty, and a person lost their life. Another person was seriously injured. And now, Alec Baldwin is facing criminal charges, thankfully. But folks, I'm hoping that the uh, prosecutor goes for maximum jail time as are the full 18 months without early release. I'm sorry, but in my opinion, my opinion now, folks, if a person takes another person's life, they should not be let out of prison just because of good behavior or because they're fucking rich. They deserve to do the full time that the law dictates if if Alec Baldwin is found guilty by a jury of his peers he should do the full 18 months and he should not be allowed an early release that sort of nonsense is only around because of freaking prison or prison crowd or overcrowding of prisons sorry for getting tongue tied but anyway, I wanted to let you guys know this new update. Y'all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think? Do you think that these uh, new plaintiffs here have any shot at winning their lawsuits with Alec Baldwin? Or, in the, uh, or do you think they may be trying to score a quick buck? Do you think there's any merit to their claims? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below, folks. This has been Orange Hat Reviews. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in a couple hours for my mystery review. And always remember, stay humble.